Every team has a leader, and Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank, proudly supporting local high school football. Farmers State Bank salutes those who make our community great by working hard to make Friday night football happen. Best wishes for the 2018 football season. Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Crusaders! Go Raiders! And count on the team at Farmers State Bank, Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. and the Channel 35 TV crew, and we welcome you to the Shamrock Bowl for the quarterfinals of the Georgia State playoffs between the Dublin Fighting Irish and the Heard County Braves. And the captains are on the field for the coin toss. I'll Stand for, uh, for Heard County, right. number four, Zalen Wood, number 21, Aaron Beasley, number five, Elijah Huzzy, and number eight, Andrew Leak. And of course, the Dublin captains are Romello White, number three, Cortavius Mitchell, number eight, Steve Linton, number 27, and the quarterback, number 10, Rodriguez Martin. Head official going over instructions with the captains. Here, here come the Irish. Irish. All green with the gold trim tonight, gold helmets. Heard County will be in maroon pants, I guess you'd call it, white tops, maroon numbers, maroon helmets. Dublin will be receiving the kickoff. Apparently, uh, Heard County won the toss and deferred to the second half. I heard you say just a moment ago, at this stage of the high school playoffs, everybody's good. That's right. Yeah. You have the top eight teams, remaining teams in the state of Georgia in each classification of Georgia high school football playing tonight. So, Tremendous compliment to our region, Region 3. We got two teams in that final eight. Washington County be playing at Callaway tonight. Here come the Braves. They got a good crowd stand. It's probably at least a three and a half hour drive from here to Franklin, Georgia, which is their hometown over near the out Georgia Alabama state line. So that's a good turnout by their fan base. They did bring a crowd. Try to get your deep men in just a second. Looks like it'll be Rodriguez Martin and Kendall Wade, I do believe. Jermaine Cooley is on the field. There was some question as to whether or not his injury was serious enough to keep him from playing. He had an injury at practice, yeah. and there was some fear that he may have had a broken leg, but obviously not because he's out there going. Yeah, and look at him. Look like, it looks like his left ankle is taped pretty heavily, but he appears to be moving well. And so for we're about to start, ladies and gentlemen. Kicking off for Hearn County be number 31, James Newell. And it is a cold, damp night at the Shamrock yes, Bowl. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. right. The wind is blowing right across.
across the stadium. Comes down to Martin, he comes straight up the field, he's in the clear with blocking, down the sideline, one man to beat. That was Kendall Wade, I'm sorry. And he'll be finally pushed down, looks like he'll be down and around the 10 yard line of Hurd County. I think they're gonna mark him in the 15. Okay, yeah, I see that. Apparently he stepped out just before he was pushed, or either when he was pushed. Tremendous return by Wade. He got it over near the Dublin sideline and just came straight ahead with great blocking. All of a sudden, at about the 40, it opened up for him and he nearly took it the distance. Tremendous field position for Dublin to start, as you said, staying the ball, nose the ball, resting at Heard County's 15 yard line. Hi. I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you want all-out performance, choose the Can-Am Maverick line of side-by-sides. With models up to 172 horsepower, 20 inches of ground clearance, 24 inches of suspension travel, power steering, and four-wheel drive, there is nowhere you can't go. And nowhere you can't go quickly. Coming soon, the Maverick Trail, with features like its larger sibling. The Maverick Trail will go places you never thought possible. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. The City of Dublin's Natural Gas Department is offering a $1,000 rebate on the purchase of a natural gas, stove, furnace and tank or tankless water heater for new construction homes or if you're remodeling your home. Individual rebates include natural gas tankless, up to $400 rebate and free gas service installation, natural gas tank, free 40 gallon or $200 rebate on other sizes, free gas service installation, natural gas furnace, $200 rebate natural gas stove $100 rebate natural gas dryer $100 rebate natural gas grill $100 rebate natural gas logs $100 rebate maximum yearly rebate no maximum save now save later call the city of Dublin natural gas at 277-5048 Dublin with a little bit of a personnel problem on the first play, has a man run in late. So a tremendous start to the game for Dublin's offense. Romello Hyde, I believe it is, uh, out wide left. That's a handoff to uh, Jones. Jones, and he had absolutely no blocking. The right side of the Heard County defensive front played it very well. In fact, they threw him for a loss of probably a couple of yards. That ball's actually out of, at about the 18, so it'll actually be, I'd say, second and 13. Again, a high, height split wide right. And a handoff to uh, Cortavis Mitchell angling off to his right. One man with his jersey. And he's held to a short game down to about the 15. The ball came out late, but I believe he was called down before the ball came out. He was, Prather. Extremely short game. Dublin will be third and at least 10. The ball will be placed actually on Heard County's 16 yard line, so the Irish are third and 11 from there with 10.29 to go in the first quarter on the initial possession of the ball game. Martin rolling back to pass under heavy pressure. Breaks loose, gets some blocking, looking to throw. Got a man open in the corner. He was hit. That was Jaquez Evans. The defender arrived just as the ball did. That's However, true. no penalty. It's going to be fourth down for Dublin. 
So what are we going to see? Yeah, that was a good job by Martin. He was under a heavy rush, then he broke into the open, but he chose to throw it, get, did a good job keeping his eyes upfield, looking for Evans. Just threw it about a half a count too late, unfortunately. Pierce Dublin will try a field goal to take the lead. That's Jaquez Evans in the kick. Looks like the ball will be placed somewhere around the 23-yard line. And it is windy tonight, so this is not a chip shot by any means. Not at all. A little bit of a high snap. Kick is down. Good strong kick. Good. And the kick is good. So with 10.05 to go in the first quarter, your score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin three, Heard County nothing. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Bailey's Flooring is a proud sponsor of high school football. Count on the team at Bailey's Flooring for quality name brand carpet and flooring with professional installation. Bailey's Flooring has all the latest product innovations and is a proven contractor of commercial and residential customers. And check out the selection of vinyl and carpet in stock at Bailey's Flooring. Call 290-6084. It's a month of giving thanks to our customers at Dublin Nissan. Drive the all-new 2019 Altima with up to 2,000 off MSRP. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Dublin uh, going to kick the ball from their own 40-yard line. Jaquez Evans will be the kicker. Uh, Shamar Dollar is out tonight, and Jaquez was going to do all the kicking tonight up apparently. 10.05 uh, left to go in the first quarter, three to nothing in favor of the Irish. Don't, don't forget to stay with us after the game for our players of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. It's Evans about to kick off. There's a high kick coming down around the 15 yard line taken by number 26 for Heard County. He comes into the middle of the field, breaks a tackle across the 20 and then tackle short of the 25. I believe that was Bernard Boyd on the return for Heard County. He'll be out at the 24-yard line. They'll be first and 10 from there on their initial possession of the ball game. Stan, I'm told Heard County likes to throw deep early in the game, and they've got one man split out wide both right and left. Man off sides though as they run a handoff. They were gonna hand off on the off left tackle, but they're uh, split in on the Dublin sideline left early. So they'll be first and 15 after the penalty. But the quarterback did hand it off to their he did. horse, Aaron Beasley. And uh, I understand he has already committed to Tennessee as a safety. Would also like to thank. Oh, I'm sorry. Would also like to thank Doctors Richter and Dr. Gay, our team doctors with the Houston Clinic, for all they do. And Houston Clinic Orthopedics is a proud sponsor of our game of the week. Here's a handoff again to Beasley. Good hole for him. He's up near the 25. A big hit put on him there by I believe that's Jaquez Evans. Steve Linton was also in the neighborhood. But about a six yard gain yep. for Beasley on that be carry. He actually uh, nine, back to the nine. 25, so I think it'll be second and nine from there. Their quarterback, I believe, number five. That's Elijah Huzzy. A fake the inside handoff came out wide on the option. Big hit 
But after a nice game, big hit by Martin, but they did get the first down across the 25. That was Andrew Leak on the carry yeah. for Heard County and Braves. Braves. Yep. They ran that little option play, Stan, where he fakes the inside handoff, then comes out on the corner with his pitch, man. And of course, he's reading the defensive end. If the end crashes down, he pitches it like he did there for a nice gain. They're up to the 37 yard line, first and 10. Coach Holmes says they like to run between the tackles. We've seen one between the tackle play so far tonight. They got trips left, one man right this time, one man in the backfield. He heads it to him, a little bit of a hole. He's across the 40, out near the 42. Gain of about five. I believe that was Khalil White on the tackle. Romello Hyde was also in the area. Five, a short six. I believe that was number 20. I thought it said 27. Maybe it was okay, 21 maybe on the lit, carry. I was thinking it was Khalil White. But, oh, oh on, the, on the carry, you meant. I'm sorry. All right, two men right, uh, left, one man right. Fakes the inside handoff. Back to throw. Belly and back. Linton with pressure. He's running. Now he's breaking to his left with some room. And he'll tuck it and run across the 40. Up near midfield. The ball's out at the end of the play. Picked up Dublin's by Blue Nose Jaquez Evans. Dublin ball inside. Hurd County's 50 yard line. Dublin with a man down over on the far sideline. Wow, what a game so far, Craver. And that, and Dublin with a man down in pain, and I hope I'm seeing wrong, not that you want anybody hurt, but I, it may be Rodriguez Martin. So a big play by the Dublin defense. They held the ball carrier up and stripped that football. However, we'll check on the injury and be back right after this. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the type of coverage that Nationwide offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV. Third down. <laughs> no, we're talking real insurance Sorry. coverages, Brad. Not third down. Camper, pet, right. motorcycle, your tour bus. Did I mention farm? Nationwide is on your side. At Bank of Dudley, we understand that buying a new home is a time of many decisions, and we're here to help and answer all of your questions that might arise during the mortgage loan process. Our mortgage specialists, Shirley Clements and Sherry Adderholt, have over 75 years of combined mortgage experience, backed by a bank that has served this community since 1905. Call or come by and visit with Sherry or Shirley at our Veterans Boulevard branch or go online at bankofdudley.com and get started today. Bank of Dudley, creating a custom mortgage experience with competitive rates and terms is what service is all about. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. All right, we're back in the Shamrock Bowl after the turnover for Dublin. And Kendall Wade was the injured Dublin player over on the Heard County sideline. He's come off under his own power, but favoring his left leg. Dublin will be first and 10 from the Heard County 46. There's a jet sweep to Greg Jones. He cuts it upfield. Gets a few yards, didn't have much blocking. Good job by him to get all he could out of it. It looks like he's down near the 42. About three yards, and they're yep. doing pretty well on the uh, Heard they County are. side. They are. Covering the outside. Let's call it the 42 and a half and call it second and a long seven for Dublin from there. See, I can see Wade sitting on the bench. They're working on him. He was favoring his left leg. Appeared to be in some pain. Hopefully he'll be okay. All right. Inside handoff to Mitchell. No blocking whatsoever in the middle of the line. He might lose a yard. Interior of the Heard County defensive front played that extremely well. I see number eight for them. 
I believe that's uh, Andrew Leak. Another big third linebacker. down play. One of the men on the, in on the play. Yeah. Knows the football actually touching the 42, so it'll be third and seven from Dublin from there. With six minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter, Dublin leads 3-0. Martin back to throw, complete to Romello Height, down near the 35. He would appear to have the first down, let's check the spot. And Dublin did not get a favorable spot, Stan. He might be, it'll be very close. That was a nice grab by Romello Height right there. That ball was a little bit out uh, behind him. He did a nice job to reach out and get it in. You might get a measurement on this yeah. one. Yep, we got officials timeout for a measurement. That gives us a chance to remind you also that Rehab Advantage on Hillcrest Parkway brings you our instant replays every week here on TV 35. Stan, the measurement shows, yeah, he's maybe 10 inches short, I'd say. Dublin will be fourth and down there, and the ball is placed actually between the 36 and 37 yard lines of Heard County, and you would have to assume Dublin will go for this. Pierce will go for it on fourth and less than one with 6-11 to go in the first quarter. The Irish leading 3-0. Martin going off on the quarterback sneak. No push whatsoever. It's going to be awfully close. There wasn't, uh, there was no push whatsoever. Martin, up the middle. Martin came okay. up, I don't know where they're going to mark the ball, but it, they mark it where he came up. It's going to be close. It's going to be awfully close. Heard County celebrating like it was a stop. Let's see. They may have another measurement. I believe we will. There's an official's timeout for the measurement. It's that close. Timeout for measurement. Optum Healthcare. We know you're not yourself when even one part of yourself is hurt. Because in orthopedics, everything is connected. Bones, joints, ligaments, and cartilage. At Optum Healthcare, we're connected to an orthopedic specialist like Dr. Patrick Hansen in Dublin covers every bone in your body. Dr. Hansen will work together with you to get you back to being you. Optum Healthcare at the corner of Moore Station Road and Industrial Boulevard. Optum Healthcare, Dublin. Portions of this program are brought to you by Curry Companies and Curry Residential, your Caldwell Banker, providing real estate services since 1902. He's short. Ours shall be a half yard short, so. Hearn County with a huge fourth down stop. Yep, just outside their 35 yard line. They'll take over from there, first and 10. The Irish defense on a quick change, hopefully will be up to the task of three and out, getting the ball back for the double and offense. As he brings him up, handoff off left guard, into the clear across the 40, Jalen Carter on the tackle. They're running back, but he's across the 40. 
believe it. And on tackle. Picks up a couple yards, going out the second and a long five. Believe that's number 21, Aaron Beasley again on the carry for Heard County. Ball up near the 42. Call it second and five from there. Quarterback checking the play there in the traditional eye formation this time with a fullback, lead blocker. Well played, but it bounced off a tackle and down into Dublin territory for a first down. That's Beasley. Yep, Beasley. 1,400 yards this year so far. The mellow height, I believe, was in on that tackle. He's a little slow to get up, but he appears to be okay. I think it was Khalil White had a shot at him in the backfield stand, but he couldn't get him down, and he slipped off of him. Beasley takes it to Dublin's 48, and with 5.04 to go in the first quarter, the Braves will be first and 10 from there. Light rain falling here, just barely raining at all. Windy and cold tonight at Shamrock Bowl. Inside handoff to Beasley again. Nice tackle by Demetrius Simonette, who's in tonight for Stacy Sharp. Beasley appeared to have a good head of steam up. He had a head of steam, yeah. but he, he he made almost six yards on yeah, the play. Yeah, he did. Bring it up. Second, Actually, he made almost seven yeah, yards on second, the play. Call it second and a short four for them. Now they're in the shotgun. Huzzy drops the ball and has a jump on it back near the 45. Steve Linton was in the area. Also Evans, yeah. Actually, I believe it'll be third and probably about seven from there. The ball will be placed at Dublin's 44. It'll be third and at least six. Yeah, I think they've got to get to the 38, so let's call it third and six for Heard County as they wait, their offense awaits the play from their sideline. Uh, our announcer keeps saying it's fourth down, but according to the yard marker, it's third down. They got trips right, inside and off to Beasley. He's down inside the 40, near the first down yardage. Let's check the spot. He may be Going just short. Down depending on how good a spot he got. And the ball is gonna be placed, stand just inside Dublin's 40. They'll be fourth in a, let's call it a short two, probably one and a half for Heard County with 3.05 to go in the first go quarter. For it. Yeah, they're going for it from the shotgun. Now they appear to be changing the play. Huzzy going off to his left, around left top, left end, with the first down, down the sideline. Well blocked by the left side of the Heard County offensive line get, to get him around the corner, and easily got the first down, down inside the Dublin 30. So what makes OFTC a top choice for college? Here's why. You get hands-on training, and OFTC instructors have years of industry experience. You see, when you have access to that kind of knowledge, it makes a difference. And with financial aid, grants, and scholarships, OFTC is affordable. You can step into your new career debt-free. Think differently about college and make Oconee Fall Line Technical College your top choice. OFTC is an equal opportunity institution. Dublin Macon Cardiology, celebrating over 14 years of serving Dublin and Lawrence County. At Dublin Macon Cardiology, we're always committed to taking care of you and your heart. Bringing state-of-the-art cardiac care closer to home with a walk-in chest pain center. New patients are always welcome and no referral is ever required. Dr. Vega is proud to announce the addition of Elise Rotrammel, a nurse practitioner, to our staff. Drop by today at Dublin Macon Cardiology, 206A Hospital Drive in Dublin.
Ball will be placed on Dublin's 27. Heard County be first and 10 from there with 2.42 to go in the first quarter. Big hit by Marcus Adams, I believe that was, for Dublin. That was Blitz it off the corner, yeah. And I believe he'll take him down for a loss back just outside the 30. I actually call it no gain, second and 10. Marcus Adams blitzed off that left edge for Dublin, and they ran right into it. Second and 10 for Hurd. From the eye, back to throw, rolling to his left, and throws out an easy completion down the sideline, all the way down to about the 10 yard line. Jaquez Evans was being held big time, but it was not called. He was being held right out in front of the play, but no call. So it'll be first and goal, I guess, for Hurd County down at the Dublin 10. Your coach Holmes will be working the refs on that hold, looking for that holding call on the next play like that. It was an obvious hold on Evans, but not called. They got one man split left, also a man in the slot. There's the inside handoff, breaks it off to his left and slips down on the wet turf at about the nine yard line. Linton was in the area, Marcus Adams was there. I believe Jalen Carter was close by. The yeah, ball knows the football in about the nine and a half. So second and goal from there for Heard County with a minute and 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. Two men left, one right from the shotgun. Beasley in the backfield with him. Now they look to the sideline for a play and maybe changing the play. Rolls to his left, looking to throw. Nobody open. Now he throws. And a completion. What a catch. Down at about the ground. On the ground, yes. Yeah. What a catch. What a catch. I believe that's number eight, Andrew Lee. <clears throat> what a catch. Yeah. The, quarter. Yeah, the clock will end. We'll come back to the clock other end of the now. stadium. That will be the end of the first quarter. Your score, Dublin three, Heard County nothing. Is your internet slowing your business down? If so, call the City of Dublin for our fiber optic based internet, 478 296 1008. Come into Dublin Deli and Seafood today for fresh sandwiches, seafood, salads, and more. Don't miss our November specials catfish dinner for only $6.99, grilled chicken salad for only $6.49, or the half roast beef sub combo. Comes with one side and a drink for only $6.49. And don't miss kids night every night from five to seven. Kids eat for 99 cents with the purchase of an adult meal. Come to Dublin Deli and Seafood today, 1100 Hillcrest Parkway in the Kroger Shopping Center. We're back to start the second quarter. Heard County third and goal from the Dublin one. Quarterback sneak. Quarterback with enough of a push into the end zone for the touchdown. And now the score is six. I keep saying the ball and Braves. There's the closest Braves to the Heard County Braves. Now they're six to three over the Dublin Fighting Irish. Here's the point coming up. snap on the extra point. So your new score with 11.55 to go in the first half will be Heard County six, Dublin three from Shamrock Bowl. That could be big later on in this game. You crazy. never know, you never know.
A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Is your irrigation or your equipment insured at actual cash value or is it insured at replacement cost? How will the actual cash value actually be determined? By market value, which you can buy a used piece of equipment on the market for, or at some formula your insurance company has come up with. Replacement cost, is it at what it would have been at the current model or the new model? Don't find out at the time of a claim. Call us and let us go through it with you to help make sure that you're insured getting the most value for your dollar. Are your barns, equipment sheds, other structures covered properly? Is your livestock? Is your chemical in storage? Are your fuel tanks, your nitrogen tanks? Are all these items covered? Have you ever been asked? That's what we do when we come to your farm because we're on your side. Nationwide and Walker Insurance is on your side. Call Southern Heritage and Barbecue now and get your hams and turkey smoked for Thanksgiving. Place your Thanksgiving orders now by calling 275-4304. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, from the very chilly Shamrock Bowl. Heard County about to kick off, having just scored the first touchdown of the ball game to go up 6-3 as they had a bad snap on their extra point attempt. Back to kick for them, number 31. James Newell. Appears to be angling that ball toward the sideline. He is. Jaquez Evans with a fair catch outside the Dublin 30. That's a good job by Evans right there. Yeah, be somewhere near the 33-yard line of Dublin. Actually, all the way up to the 34. So, excellent field position for Dublin. Heard County and appears Stan was trying to, hoping to catch us napping and perhaps kicking into an open area, a vacant area, and have a chance to recover it. But a good job by Evans on the fair catch. Now let's see what Dublin can do. Their first play of the second quarter, 11.55 remaining in the quarter. The trail by three points. And off to Greg Jones. Jones off the left side. Good run, by yeah. Jones. Good run across the 40. Jones off the left side, a six yards, will make up a second down for the yard. Ball will be placed all the way up at the 42, so I believe it'll be second, second and two. Second and a Maybe a short three. three. That was a nice run by Jones right About there. About seven and a half yards yeah. on that play. Yeah. Well blocked by the left side of Dublin's offensive line that time. The mellow hideout wide right near the Dublin sideline. Hand off to Cortavis Mitchell. No blocking off the right side. And he'll be stacked up, maybe short in the line of scrimmage. No the left no side no defense no for the Heard County Braves. They have been stout a so far. Game they really are. Yeah. They have been stout. Looks like they play a basic 4-3 look, Stan. But they're playing it very well. They're making it hard on Dublin to run the ball, especially on a short yardage situation. Cooley behind Martin. There's a handoff. Joe, uh, Mitchell around the left side, across the 45. Got He'll the have first his down. first down, first yeah. Down. Pretty good blocking by the right side of Dublin's offensive line that time. Enough to get Cortavis Mitchell around the corner, far enough upfield for the first down. The ball will be placed at the 47 of Dublin. First and 10, all right. One thing stands so far, Dublin has been able to maintain possession of the ball for a good bit of time so far and keep their offense on the sideline. But we need to turn that into more points. Dublin got two men out wide left. Empty backfield. Fake the jet sweep. Martin comes up the field, hit hard at 50. Yeah, he got a couple yards. About a three yard yeah, game. He was hit hard right. as he hit the got to the 50 yard line. They faked, Stan, they faked that jet sweep off that, and then he just took a step back and then came straight up field 
for a minute appeared to have some running room, but that hole closed very quickly. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Lasts and lasts and lasts. trying to jump the snap count. Also, I believe you had a face mask on the handoff to Jermaine Cooley. The officials huddling to try to get the call made. We got a light rain falling right now. It's chilly and windy also. We'll be, the face mask will be marked off. It'll be an automatic first down for Dublin down inside their 25 yard line. So a huge break for the Irish on that play. Ball will be marked at the 24 of Heard County. The Irish will be first and 10 from there with 9.33 to go in the first half. Heard County leads six to three. First and 10, Irish on the 34 yard line. All right, Martin brings them up. Height, wide left. Mitchell in motion. Oh, fake handoff. And Thank you. Uh, number, four. Yeah, number four was all over Greg Jones that time behind the line of scrimmage. That's one of their linebackers. Zaylen Wood just blew that play up totally. Dublin will lose about five yards on that play. But second 15 for the Irish from the Heard County 39 yard line now. Again, the Heard County defensive front being extremely stingy. Martin back to throw. Throws. Oh, no, Hyde was a little behind him, and he was just unable to come up with it down at the 30 yard line. That ball was just slightly behind Romello Hyde. He wasn't able to bring it in. It would have been a first down, but the Irish will be third and long from the Heard County 39 yard line. Again, a light rain falling at the moment. So the, both the ball and the field will be very slick right now in these chilly, windy, wet conditions. Martin rolls to his left. Uh, Utah passed to uh, Cortavis Mitchell, but well played by the Heard County defense. He'll be taken down at their 34-yard line. The Irish will be fourth and about 10 from there. A little shovel pass, or what they call a Utah pass, but well played by Heard County's defense. Yeah. He'll be fourth and 10, and Jaquez Evans in, I assume, to punt here. He'll try to kick them into a hole. Heard County appears to be in punt safe now. They don't have anybody back deep. And kick that in, that kick goes into the end zone, so it'll come out to the 20. Heard County will be first and 10 from there with 7.43 to go in the first half. Your score, Heard County 6, Dublin 3. Hi, I'm Chuck Harwell from Community Bank, and I would like to remind you that we're here to help you with all your financial needs. 
We can help you with loans for almost everything from getting married, buying your first car, getting ready for a new baby, buying a house, or going to college. You see, we're the bank that lives up to our name, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We're Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. It's a month of giving thanks to our customers at Dublin Chevrolet. Take home a 2018 cruise with up to 6500 on MSRP. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Heard County Braves back on offense. Get the ball off to number 21 again. And he is their main running back. Yep. Beasley. Looks like they'll have it out to 25, so a gain of about five. Five yards on the play, running to the outside, which is somewhat of a surprise. According to Coach Holmes. Second down, four yards to go. Back, rolls to his left, looking to throw. Play. Complete. For number 13, one of his wide receivers across the 35 for a first down. The two passes we've seen have been low to the ground and been caught on the ground. That catch by Micah Austin of Heard County. Ball will be placed at their 36 with 6.55 to go in the first half. That'll be first and 10 from there. Trips left, one man right this time, one man in the backfield with the quarterback. Inside handoff to Beasley, not much room there. He'll get a, have a gain of maybe one. Well played by the Dublin defense. See Stucky, the center, who normally plays centers in there. I think, uh, I think Cooley was in on that tackle as well. Actually give him up to the 38, give him a short gain, call it second and eight. Maybe second and long eight from there. Dublin defense a little late getting set, trying to jump the snap count. But they, they got into the neutral zone, but did not touch, no, no penalty. So we're back to live play. Inside hand off to Beasley, nothing doing. He'll be taken down behind the line, back near the original line of scrimmage. Well played, well played by the, by the yeah, left, left side of, side of Dublin's defense. defense. You see White, I believe, getting up a little slow. Lamelo Height was there. I think Jalen Carter, Jaquez Evans, Khalil White moving a little slow, but he appears to be okay. Be third and a long eight for Heard County. Somehow they gave him no gain on that stand. I don't know how. It looked like he lost at least a yard or two. Khalil White does appear to be in some pain, shaking off that right injury to his right hand. Or trying to shake it off. Big rush on the quarterback, screen play. Nice play by Jalen Carter. Fought off a blocker and made the play well short of the first down on Beasley. Great play by Jalen Carter right there. Staying that screen play, appeared to be well set up. It was, Craven. Yeah. And that brings up fourth and five. Here's they're going for it. They are going for it. We got two men in the slot, one man out wide right. Now they're looking to their bench, see if they change the play. 4.29 to go, fourth and about four. Now they'll call timeout. So we'll be back from the Shamrock Bowl in just a minute. Your score, Heard County six, Dublin three. Optum Healthcare. We know you're not yourself when even one part of yourself is hurt. Because in orthopedics, everything is connected. Bones, joints, ligaments, and cartilage. At Optum Healthcare, we're connected too. An orthopedic specialist like Dr. Patrick Hansen in Dublin covers every bone in your body. Dr. Hansen will work together with you to get you back to being you. Optum Healthcare, at the corner of Moore Station Road and Industrial Boulevard. 
Optum Healthcare, Dublin. Fairview Fitness Center, open 24 seven with staffed hours available every day. Push your fitness further with our fitness classes. Join today and see the benefits of a healthy life. Fairview Fitness Center, serving our community for over 30 years. For more information, call 353-1900. Visit us at 200 Industrial Boulevard behind Fairview Hospital or log on to fairviewfitness.com. the Shamrock Bowl, heard fourth and five, two men wide right, one man in the slot also to the right. Their quarterback, Huzzy, back in the shotgun. Rolls to his left, looking to throw, now it's a quick kick. Good job by them, quick kick, the ball up to go down and inside the 25 of Dublin. Mark it on about the 21. All right, Dublin will be first and 10 from there. The ball will be placed at their 21 with 4-11 to go in the first half. Don't forget to stay with us after the game for the offensive and defensive players of the game. Brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. We'd also like to thank Drs. Richter and Gay with Houston Clinic for all they do for our team and for being sponsors of the game of the week. And of course, hopefully we'll be bringing you a lot of Rehab Advantage replays as the game goes on. Those are pretty plays brought to you by Rehab Advantage on Hillcrest Parkway. Hard to do that with a six to three score. Right. Right. But hopefully we'll get one, maybe right here. Yeah. A handoff to uh, Greg Jones, hit hard yeah, as he went hard, around the left he, side. He, he took it a, up for about five yeah, yards. They're going to give him five right yards on the right. play. For a minute, yeah. it appeared we had that well blocked enough that he had some running room, but that hole, like they have been all night, closed First, quickly. Second and a long five on the ice. Now got 3.42 to go in the half. Give him four yards, will be second and six. Ball, knows the football just short of the 25 of Dublin. Barton rolling to his left, looking to throw. And well covered, oh, he was trying to hit Jaquez Evans, his tight end on a crossing route. Well covered by the defense for Heard County. In fact, I believe that's their quarterback, Huzzy, back deep. He had a shot and an interception. Jaquez Evans was lined up at tight end to the left and dragged all the way across the middle of the field. The Irish were hoping to hit a big one right there, but did not. Now it'll be third and six. That, stop, that incompletion stops the clock with 320 to go in the half. The Dublin may be in a punting situation if they're unable to pick up this first down. Barton rolls, big hit, complete the high, the ball comes out. I think Dublin's on the ball. Dublin may have gotten it back at the very end. The ball came out, Romello Height made the reception for the first down. But it's Heard County ball. Heard County ball. Yep. Great break for Heard County. Great for Heard County. Good throw. Romello Height had it for a minute, took a big hit, and the ball popped out, and Heard County was able to recover it. Just outside the Dublin 30 with 3.07 to go in the half. They'll have a golden opportunity to put more points on the board. Dublin defense in one of those sudden change situations will have to come up big right here. Try to hold Heard County out in the end zone. And that was a heck of a hit by yeah, that Heard that was County a big defender. Hit. You're right. Right on the ball. Yep. All right, they've got two men right, one man in the slot also to the right, and then one man out left, empty backfield. There's a jet sweep, handoff, number 24, hit behind the line. 
Well Good played play yep. by Dublin. Marcus Adams was there, Steve Linton in the area, Romello Height nine, setting nine, the nine, edge nine, out nine, in front of the play, and he'll nine, lose nine, about four or five yards on that play. Nine, Tremendous nine, play nine, by the Dublin defense right there. I believe that's the second big play Marcus Adams has made in this game. Clock running, 2.39, 2.39. Yeah, clock running now, down inside 2.35 when this play is run. They got trips left, one man right from the shotgun. Huzzy with the inside handoff, not much room. Well played, Khalil White, Steve Linton there, Jalen Carter nearby. Height is also closing. Yeah, he's near the original line of scrimmage, so it'll be third and about 10. Hurt County trying to go tempo right here as Barrick Widely comes in for Stucky. Now they will huddle. The nose of the football near the 31, call it third and a long 10 for them. They got two men left and one man in the slot to the left, also a man in the slot to the right comes across the quarterback face. Big rush, that ball should have been picked off. I believe it was Kendall Wade had a bead on it. I believe that was, I believe that might have been Gabriel Guyton, actually. It was Gabriel Guyton, that, I yeah, think. Yeah, shot that. that ball. He went up to catch it and just kind of knocked himself off kilter just enough. He was unable to bring the ball in. Stan, you'd have to assume Hurd will go for it here with 1.41 to go in the half on fourth and 10. Call it a long 10 from Dublin's 31. Now you've got a timeout, Heard County. So with, with timeout on the field, 141 to go in the half, your score, Heard County six, Dublin three. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Lasts and lasts and lasts. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth down, 10 yards to go from the Dublin 31. Braves have the ball. Trips left, big rush. Steps up and throws, and that'll be broken up by Kimberly. Broken up again, but the Irish Bottom will take line, over yeah. with 132 left in the first yeah. half. Yeah. Incomplete. incomplete, but Dublin will take over with 132 to go in the half. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a fast-moving ball game tonight. It was Cortavius Mitchell. Jet sweep, but nowhere. The speed of the Braves has overwhelmed the outside running game for the Irish tonight. So there was about a three yard loss on the play. 102 left in the half. Now down under one minute. Martin in with the play. Irish come up to the ball. Hide again to the left. Cooley up the middle for about seven yards. Picked up a couple of yards. They'll give him about seven yards on that play. Irish quickly back up. Cooley takes the ball again. And there he goes all the way across midfield to the 48 yard line of the of the Braves. And the Irish take a timeout. B 
big crowd here from Franklin, Georgia, county seat of Heard County. It's time out on the field. The score, Heard County Braves six, Dublin Fighting Irish three. Thirteen point two seconds left in the first half. Cooley with those two rushes may be, have become the leading rusher for the Dublin Fighting Irish tonight from the line of scrimmage in any, anyway. Ball resting on the 48 yard line of the Heard County Braves. 13, the first half. First and 10 hours on the 48 yard line. Camilla Height out wide right. Cooley again, but that play is snuffed out by someone grabbing his ankle. Iris called a timeout again. Three seconds left. Ball is resting on about the 43-yard line of the Heard County Braves. While we're taking the timeout, we want to remind you at the end of the game most valuable Irish defensive player and offensive player will be presented their trophies sponsored by the City of Dublin Natural Gas Department. And of course, we want to ch thank Channel 35 here in Dublin, bringing us these ball games each week from one of our high school teams. Of course, Dublin is the only team left at this point. Three point three to Irish uh, up to the line of scrimmage. Martin for the Irish. surveying the situation. Wing T formation. Martin goes back. Nobody's open. He goes down. Half. That's the end of the first oh, half. And we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, with your second half in a few minutes. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. Even when I started working here, there was a definite vibe that you felt when you walked in the door, from the music that you're always gonna hear playing to the, hello, good to see you, welcome, how can we help you? You know, it's just a different experience when you bank here. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. Something that sets us apart at Morris Bank is what we give back to the communities in which we serve. And as the communities continue to grow, that brings more business and more industry into the area. And it's just this circle effect of, of giving back and, and receiving what the community can offer. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you. Shamrock Bowl. I'm here with Craythor Nelson. Right, We're about to begin this second half. Well, Dublin will kick off to the Heard County Braves, who lead this game six to three. Evans Let's, to kick off. Back deep, one of their deep men, number 24. That's Ashton Bonner. 
And that ball will go out of bounds. So they'll have it at their 35. He goes out of bounds. And first and 10 in the 35-yard line for Hurt County. First and 10. All right, the Irish defense will start this second half out for Dublin. And in some tough conditions, Stan, you got a heavy, kind of a misty, light, heavy mist, but kind of a light rain, if that makes sense. Cold and a little windy tonight at Shamrock Bowl. Heard with trips right. There's a little option play. Pitch, got a flag down, probably a hold. Well played by the left well, side of the Dublin defense. Very well played by the Dublin Carter. defense. Probably a hold. Another down Dublin down player down. Dublin Carter was there. I believe that's Romello Height down. Marcus Adams also was in on that play. I believe he's he's down favoring a hand, it appears, across the way. Let's see about Height. Though. He's down back behind the play. Comes up favoring one of his ankles, but he looks okay. He's going to come out at least for the moment. Hopefully he'll be okay. Looks like an illegal block against Heard County. And Adams is still down. Well, he's up, but he's favoring it looks like his right wrist, maybe. He may have to come out also. Now he's going to stay in. The uh, trainer went out to check on him, but he waved him off. The offense, 15 yard penalty. That will take the ball back to Heard County's 19 yard line. And they've got to get all the way up, looks like, to the 45 for a first down. So they're first and, I believe, 26. Two men left, one man right, inside handoff. Well played by the interior of Dublin defense. Steve Linton crashed in from his end position. Also, Jaquez Evans was there. I believe Jalen Carter was in the area. Nicely played by the Dublin defense. He got maybe two yards out of that. Actually, the ball just across the Heard County 20, so they'll be second and about 25. This is the initial possession of the first half. Heard County leading at six to three. Now they got trips left, Spread two men right. Over. Empty backfield, big rush by Evans. He missed him. Quarterback runs across the 25, taken down by, I believe that's Jalen Carter. For a short game, they'll be third and very long, at least 15, maybe a little better than that on third down for Heard County. Jaquez Evans with a big rush on the quarterback, but he missed him, but he came out. Unfortunately, Jalen Carter was there to take him down after a short game. The ball will be placed on their 28-yard line. Let's call it third and a long 17 for Hurd. They got trips right. Quarterback under duress, and he threw a, attempted a short pass, which is incomplete out near their 35. Marcus Adams was there, so Hurd will be in a punting situation on fourth down. Tremendous job by the Dublin defense, Stan, coming out of halftime. Rodriguez Martin will be back deep to fill this punt near the Dublin 45. I can't see the number of the punter for Heard County. He'll be standing just inside his own 15-yard line. I believe that may be number 11, but I'm not sure. Good snap, angles the kick off to his right. It'll hit and get a roll for Heard County down inside the Dublin 30. So a tremendous roll for the kicker of about 12 yards right there. Dublin will be at their own 26. First and 10 with 9.55 to go in the third quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, 6-3 Heard County. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. 
The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age? If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore. Only available at independently owned paint and hardware stores. Available at Four Seasons Paint and Floor Covering. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. All right, we're back and late in on that play just before we, or just as we went to break, there was a flag called on Heard County for an illegal formation. It looks like Dublin will make them kick it again. Back them up, I assume, five yards. Stan, that'll probably Dallas place the ball back Dallas. somewhere Dallas. around their own 20-yard line. Four, seven, about 20 for the first down. Actually, it looks like the ball will be placed maybe at their 23. And now Martin will be standing just on the Dublin side of the 50. A little bit of a low snap. He angles the kick off to his right. Again, it gets the roll. It'll be down just inside the 40. Let's see. They did touch it, but let's see where they mark it. He's going to really, I, yeah. I think it's, it looked from up here like the first, first player from the punting team hit the ball at about the Dublin, say 39, right. but they didn't mark it dead until right. they hit the 36. Right. It rolled all the way down to the 36 and was blown dead there, so Dublin will be first and 10 from there with nine minutes and 30 seconds to go in the third quarter, their initial offensive possession of the second half. Height, wide to the left, shift in formation. Yeah, shift now, Cooley directly behind Martin. Hand off, off to his left to Jones. No blocking, I think he'll lose a yard. Greg Jones came from his right to left, tried to go off left, say left tackle, and no blocking there at, at whatsoever. Yeah, call it the second Irish offense has not penetrated that no, right they, side we of have the had a hard Kerr time. County Braves line yeah. all night long. We've had a tremendous amount of difficulty trying to block them, as you say, all night long. The mellow hideout wide left. Inside hand off to Cooley. Cooley. Up near the 40. A small hole there, not a whole lot of running room for him. Ball will be placed at the 40, so it'll be third and about six for Dublin. Big third down play. Yeah, the Irish need to pick this up and keep the offense moving. And find a way to run the ball on this tough Heard County defense. Martin rolling to his left, cuts it inside. Not much blocking there. He only get maybe two yards. The Dublin will be in a punting situation. They'll be fourth and about at least four. Now. Uh, if he had gone to Mitchell on the pitch, there was wide open field. Yeah, I'm sure Dublin will talk about that. 
before their next series on offense. But the bottom line is it's going to be fourth and four, and Jaquez Evans will be in a punting situation for the Irish. Heard Steve County's, Linton, the yeah. long snapper. Yeah. Erd County, now finally they drop a man deep. It looked like for a minute they were going to stay and punt safe. And actually, they are. Number two comes up. Evans takes off, running to his left, gets past one man, dives for the first down. It'll all depend on the spot. He dove at the end of that play across the 45, and let's check if he gets a favorable spot, he may have a first down. Herb was in punch safe at the last minute they came up, and we'll check this call. The officials are huddling right in front of Herb County's sideline. And first down, Dublin. First down. Tremendous job by Jacquez Evans on the fake punt. And Stan, he didn't have it until he launched himself near the 45. And got a couple of more yards. Let's see if that play will shake up the Irish offense. That's a rehab advantage replay on the fake punt. Tremendous job by Jaquez Evans to pick up a critical first down on Dublin's first offensive possession of the second half. You now got 7.08 to go in the third quarter. Again, Heard County leads at 6-3. The Irish at their 47-yard line. So what makes OFTC a top choice for college? Here's why. You get hands-on training, and OFTC instructors have years of industry experience. You see, when you have access to that kind of knowledge, it makes a difference. And with financial aid, grants, and scholarships, OFTC is affordable. You can step into your new career debt-free. Think differently about college and make the Coney Fall Line Technical College your top choice. New student registration begins December 6th. OFTC is an equal opportunity institution. Every team has a leader, and Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank, proudly supporting local high school football. Farmers State Bank salutes those who make our community great by working hard to make Friday night football happen. Best wishes for the 2018 football season. Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Crusaders! Go Raiders! And count on the team at Farmers State Bank. Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. It's a month of giving thanks to our customers at Dublin Chevrolet. Get a Silverado Crew Cab LT with up to 13,000 off MSRP. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. Straight down the middle. Incomplete. Second and ten for double. And that would have been gone. Yeah. But good job by their defensive back. He was not fooled on the play action. Ran with Jones and was able to break it up. Second down, 10 yards to go, 6.51 left in the third quarter. Two men split and wide right. Martin, Martin's in the ball. They got inside the 25. And that was us running back in safety. He prevented a touchdown. That was Aaron Beasley. Had he not been there stand, that was a touchdown for Dublin. Tremendous job by Rodriguez Martin. A minute ago, you talked about the pitch was there on that last play. That time, he kept it, got, got into the seam, running right up the hash, and nearly broke it for a touchdown, but the ball will be placed at Hurd, the Hurd County 24-yard line with 6.33 to go in the third quarter. Jaquez Evans flip flops the tight end to the left side. And off to Greg Jones, no blocking. He'll Nowhere on that yeah. right side. He'll be hit for probably no gain. I don't think he lost no, anything, but no, no gain. Second down. Yeah, no blocking on that left side of Dublin's offensive line. We were 
we had a heavy, we were uh, strong side with the tight end and another blocker in the slot at that time, but just could not get any push on the right side of their defensive front, which has been extremely difficult to run against all night for Dublin. Inside hand off to Cooley, and he's met immediately by one of their linebackers or defensive lineman. I believe that's number 62 for Heard County. Tremendous job by him. And he, and he might have lost a half a yard, Stan. I think he did lose about a yard. Absolutely no blocking right there. Third down, 12 yards to go, 515 left in this third quarter. Two men split right for Dublin. Martin back to throw. And it's going to be yeah, picked up. I got a man running to his left with blocking. Down the sideline. Martin going to have to hit him at about midfield. So a big turnover for Hurd County. And they'll have excellent field position. Two turnovers apiece for these teams tonight. Actually, they're going to say he stepped out. The defensive back stepped out at the 46 in Heard County. So they'll be on their side of the 50, but still with excellent field position with 450 to go in the third quarter, leading 6-3. They got two men split left, and now they're in that eye look with the fullback directly behind the quarterback. Now he angles off to his left. Hand off to Beasley around the right side. No block in there. He slipped as he tried to cut, but there was no block in there. Uh, Jermaine Cooley was in the area. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Second and ten. A little extracurricular at the end of that play. Looked like a Dublin man might have knocked one of their players down there near their sideline, and their crowd hollered for a flag, but none was forthcoming. Now the Boo Birds are out on their side. It'll be second and 10, Heard County from their 46, with 4.13 to go in the third quarter. Two men out left. Inside hand off to Beasley around the right side. Not much blocking. Good job by him to push the pile forward near midfield with not a lot of blocking there. Dublin appears to have a man down in pain over near the Heard County sideline. I that believe that's Steve, Steve Linton. Linton. Yeah, and there'll be an official's timeout to check on the injury. We'll be right back. Optum Healthcare. We know you're not yourself when even one part of yourself is hurt. Because in orthopedics, everything is connected. Bones, joints, ligaments, and cartilage. At Optum Healthcare, we're connected to an orthopedic specialist like Dr. Patrick Hansen in Dublin covers every bone in your body. Dr. Hansen will work together with you to get you back to being you. Optum Healthcare at the corner of Moore Station Road and Industrial Boulevard. Optum Healthcare, Dublin. With Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, I can get auto, home, life, even banking all in one place. Pretty convenient if you ask me. Always the home team, Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit us online at gfbinsurance.com. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be a big third and seven for Heard County. Steve Linton, the standout Dublin defensive end, was hurt on that play and appears to be favoring, I think it's his left hand. He's on the Dublin bench right now in obvious pain, so hopefully he'll be okay. A little bit of a high snap. The deep ball. Got his man. That's going to be a touchdown for Hurd County. And it's a touchdown for Hurd County. Nice yeah, beautiful move. pass. Yeah, beautiful Good move. route. Yeah. He simply outran the Dublin defender. He yes, he did. 
tremendous strike. Delvin had two men back there, but unfortunately the wide receiver was able to run by them for an easy touchdown once he caught the ball. It's now 12-3 Herd County, and let's see if they try to go for two or if they settle. Try to make, it looks like they will kick the point after to try to make it a 10-point lead with 3.18 to go in the third quarter. Crather tonight with the difficulty that Dublin's had on offense, that is a tremendous lead at this point in time yeah. in the game. Yeah, 10 We're points. down to about 15 yep. minutes left That's in this right. football game. Yeah, you're right. 10 points is a big lead in a game like this. Good points, Stan. That's a poor kick, and I believe it's going to be no good. No it's good on the kick. Way left, yeah. So that could be big. So your new score with 318 to go in the third quarter. Herb County 12, Dublin 3. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Example, this tractor. There's multiple ways to cover your equipment. It is replacement cost, actual cash value, insuring the GPS system on it. In addition to tractors, we also cover any implements that you would like to cover. It's like this front end loader as a value added to your tractor or on its own. A lot of times, the only way we will insure a farm is if we come to your site. We're gonna walk it, we're gonna talk it, we're gonna find out what you do and what your interests are. We're gonna customize it so that you get full benefit with the broadest coverage that's available on the market today. A lot of people find out at the time of a claim that they were not properly covered. That is my worst fear. So we make sure going in that you are covered properly. Don't forget to insure your sprayer. A lot of people say, I rode by and didn't see you at your office. That's cause I was probably on a farm. This playoff game brought to you in part by Jet Food Store. For fast, friendly service with a smile, in a safe environment and competitive pricing, check out Jet Food Stores at a location near you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The score now 12 to 3 in favor of the Heard County Braves of the Dublin Fighting Irish. 318 left to go in the third quarter. Steve Linton, the Dublin defensive end, injured on next to the last play of that drive, and he is still down on the bench. We're not sure what his situation is, but that is a heavy loss for the Dublin Fighting Irish. Jermaine Cooley feels that kickoff, comes off across the 30 and be hit there hard at about near the 31 of Dublin. The first and for 30. Linton's getting his hand wrapped, it looks like. Now whether he'll go back in or not, I'm not sure. He doesn't appear to be in as near as much pain as he was a few minutes ago, but obviously that was a significant injury. But now, Stan, the bottom line for the Dublin offense is they've got to find a way to move the ball on this tough Hurt County defense. Inside handoff to Cooley, and he goes down after a gain of maybe two. I think he might have lost his footing there. He appeared to have a I little he, bit of I a hole. I think he did lose his yeah, footing. It looked like he slipped. Yeah. Looked like he might have had a little bit of a hole at right guard. I think he'll have a gain of one yard. Let's call it second and nine. Dublin from there, 32. We've now got two minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Irish trail by nine. Steve Linton taped up walking around. Martin rolling back to throw. Now he pulls it down, runs off to his left. Jalen Carter running interference for him. He gets to the outside. He'll have a first down up near midfield. So a nice job by Martin to recognize that he can, he can take off off to his left with blocking. Jalen Carter out in front of him, and he got enough for the first down. Looks like he'll be out somewhere near Dublin's 48-yard line. First and goal, sorry, first and 10 from there. 
Once again, that grapple winning ticket is 818-3245. Last four. Inside hand off. No, Martin keeps it. And he's across midfield into Hurt the County the territory. About four Again, yards on that play, it looks like from here. Right now, Stan, this rain is coming down. It's not a heavy rain, but kind of a heavy mist and a good bit of wind at the moment. So ball security is certainly a big issue right now. Will be the rest of this game, it looks like, in these tough conditions. Tight comes out. One man split wide right for the Irish. Inside hand off to Cooley. Cooley. Picks his way for a couple of yards. Breaks off to his right and down to the 45. The Jermaine Cooley got really all he could out of that run. There wasn't a whole lot of blocking there at right guard. And then he broke off to his right to get a couple more yards to the 45. Double to be third and about three from there. With 1.20 to go now in the third quarter. Dublin trails 12 to 3. Martin off to his left. He'll have his first down inside the 40, down near the 35. Around right, he got around right in that time. Had a pinch man with him, but chose to keep it. And was able to get, I think that ball will be placed at their 35, first and 10 from there for Dublin. And right now, Rodriguez Martin with his ball handling and his ability to get around the corner is helping the Dublin offense pick up some very critical first downs as we're now under 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Irish up to the ball, resting on the 35-yard line. Slot to the right. Inside Cooley. hand off to Cooley, down near the 35, near the 30. He actually broke inside the 30 at the end of that play. Let's see where they mark him down at. They're going to mark it at the 30, it looks like, okay. from here, yep. Yeah. Second and five, second and five. Second down, nice five game, yards though. to go for the Irish. Yeah, let's call it second and five. We're now down. That may be the final play of the third quarter. They may get this play off, but I don't know. One man split right. Inside, fake handoff. There's in, uh, handoff around right in to Jones. He's hit hard. Uh, Mitchell, I should say. Uh, He's hit hard at the end of that play. The ball popped out and went out of bounds. But I'm... And that will, time will be out at the end of the third quarter. Your score, Heard County 12, Dublin 3. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you choose the Can-Am Defender side-by-side, -side, which is engineered to maximize a hard day's work on the farm or on a hunt, Defenders offer 20% more torque than its rivals. You can carry 1,000 pounds of payload or tow 2,000 pounds of cargo. You will appreciate Can-Am's precision engineering and industry-leading performance. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. For over 21 years, J.T. Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. J.T. Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. Whether you need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com.
ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the start of the fourth quarter. Unfortunately, the Dublin quarterback, Rodriguez Martin, had to be taken off on a stretcher for medical attention and thoughts and prayers with that young man. Markel Mitchell now is quarterback on third and four. Inside handoff to Cooley. He'll be stopped near the 26, and he'll be at least a yard short of the first down. That one will have fourth and short from there. Fourth and what's a little like stand, maybe two. Crather, from here it looks like two full yards. Yeah. And Dublin will go for it, down nine with 11.34 to go in the ball game. And now Jermaine Cooley comes out. I think he might have lost his headgear on that play and have to come out on this key fourth down play with an equipment issue. There's a handoff off to the left side. Greg Jones hit hard. But I believe he's got the yeah, first down. Yeah, he may have his first down near the 25. He's hit hard at the end of that play, but I think he was able to get far enough upfield to pick up that first down. Well, nope. Maybe it's not. It's going to be a little Let's short. See. Let's see what the call is. First down, Hurd County. Yeah, he was tackled just outside the 25, and he had to get down at least to the 25. For the first down, so Heard County will take over from there and now uh, stand a lot of pressure on the Dublin defense to not just stop them, but hopefully make a play, some kind of turnover to turn the tide in Dublin's favor with 11 minutes and 11 seconds left. The Dublin team now without quarterback Rodriguez Martin for the rest of this game. And he is a, both a defensive yes, and an offensive that's, that's leader. Correct. He's a big player in that defensive backfield also. And of course, Heard County is very good at throwing the football. There's a pitch, that an obvious hold it looked like, not called, good job by um, the running back. Beasley, it's been a while since he carried the ball, I forgot his name there for a second. It looked like a hold out in front of the play. It, 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 it looked from up here like a hold, but there was no flag on no the play. Flag. He'll get about four Thank yards. You. Seven. Seven. Let's call it three and second and seven from the 29 with 10.40 to go in the ball game. And I think what you're going to see is Heard County's going to try to grind this out on yeah, the ground. I believe so. Although, again, like you said, Stan, if they do try to throw it, Dublin missing Rodriguez Martin in that defensive backfield. And that is inside hand off to Beasley off left tackle. He's up near the 35. Will be a little short of his first down. It'll be third and maybe two from there. Third down and about two, Crather. 10 11 left to go in this ball game with the Irish trailing 12 to 3. Imagine a life changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. It's unanimous, Maryland Fried Chicken has the best chicken in the world. Choose from Maryland's two, three, or four piece combos. Feed the entire crew with a nine, 12, or 20 piece special. And Maryland's hot wings are great for the whole gang. Maryland Fried Chicken, call ahead at 272-3011 or stop by at 801 North Jefferson Street in Dublin. Open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 till nine and Sunday, 10.30 till four. Maryland Fried Chicken, the best chicken in the world. off to Beasley going to his right and cuts it back. Up Beasley field. will and get it, the yeah. first down yeah, close just about across four the yard. And he'll have his first down. 
And I think that's what we're going to see. Yeah. Yeah, there's now under 10 minutes left, and Devlin trails by two scores. Any way you look at it, they've got to have at least 10 points to take the lead right now. So Heard County kind of playing the percentages to keep the try to keep the ball in the clock moving and shorten this game. Man, I know that everybody on that double on the Dublin side of the field is hurting right now with worried about Rodriguez Martin, but this defense has got to try to make a play to turn this game around. It was a short gainer, I think, to Beasley again. I suspect Beasley's yeah. gonna be their workhorse. Yeah. Jarquez Evans on the tackle helps him up. Actually, that's number eight, their other running back. About four yards on that play brings up a second and six from the Dublin 45. Pages are all stuck together, so it's hard to get the rosters straight. That's Andrew Leak, I believe, they're running back on that play. Two wide outs to the left for the Heard County Braves. Jalen Carter in on the tackle right there. Yep, and I didn't get enough. It's the numbers. Was, yeah, number 26 on the carry for them. That's. I believe that's uh, Sean Wiley. The ball will be placed at their 47. It'll be third and four now. We're about to go under eight minutes to go in the game. So again, it's getting that critical stage for the Dublin defense to come up with not just a stop, but hopefully a turnover to try to turn this, turn the momentum of this game back in Dublin's favor. But you could tell when Dublin went back out on the field after Martin was transported to the ambulance. Right. They moved differently. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, of course. You see, clearly, quarterback into the open field down to the Dublin 40 on a quarterback keeper. Just a shot. Took it off down. left tackle and got oh, around left to the left end, and right side of the Dublin defense for an easy first down for Hunt County. I noticed on the last defensive defensive play before that game. Dubbin had moved Linton to a linebacker slot. Yeah. Kind of, maybe kind of a spy. It looks like he and he's standing in the middle of the Dublin defense. He might be almost a middle linebacker right now, spying their quarterback. Now he goes back yeah, to his now defensive, he's back end, right defensive end. Defensive end. Yeah. There's a handoff to Beasley, I believe, off to his right, into the open, down inside the 30. And he'll be taken down near the 20 by Marcus Adams. Nice game by Beasley right there. Now we're really getting critical. We're down to 7.06 to go in the ball game. And of course, Heard County now down in the red zone, it looks like. And the Braves are driving. Yeah. Yes, that ball will be placed on the Dublin 19 yard line. First and 10 from there for Heard County. Inside handoff, nothing doing. Then he breaks off. Well played by the right side of Dublin's defense. Looked like Cooley on one of the, one of the tackles. I Mello Height made that initial tackle. Good job by him. No, Jarquez Evans, excuse me. Good job by him on the play. Limit the gain to maybe a yard. Well, to three is the score in favor of the Heard County Braves yeah, over the Dublin Irish. Six twenty-four no left to go. Right now to run the play the clock. Game. They're going to let it bleed down pretty much every time. We may be under six minutes by the time they run this next play. Now there'll be a timeout, timeout by Heard County with six fourteen to go in the fourth quarter. Your score: Heard County twelve, Dublin three. Hi, I'm Chuck Harwell, President and CEO of the Community Bank of Dublin-Lawrence County. 
I would like to personally invite you to come in and open an account with us. Our service and lending professionals know what it takes to make life easy and convenient and will help you get set up with our mobile and online banking right away. We founded Community Bank on Common Sense Banking and a dedication to help people just like you with your personal or business accounts. We want to assist you in securing loans for your automobile, home, land, or whatever financial goals you may have in life. We founded Community Bank on Common Sense Banking and a dedication to help people just like you with your personal or business accounts. Visit us at Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County and come in and see why Common Sense Banking never goes out of style. The way the world is today, go, 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 go. Things just seem so out of control. That's why the things we can control are so important. That's why we're members of our electric co-op. The whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need. So they look out for us. They invest in the best technology you can get, just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Second and eight for Heard County, the ball at Dublin, the Dublin 17 yard line. With 613 to go in the ball game. Dublin in a desperate situation right now. They need the ball back and cannot afford to give up any more points. The quarterback, quarterback just gonna take the ball and run. run. Yep, be Down to about the Jermaine 12 yard Cooley line. Just outside the Dublin 10 yard line. I believe Jalen Carter was the first to hit him. One of the officials separating a couple of players down there. That'll bring up a third and about four for Hurd County. The ball will be placed at Dublin 12. They've got to get down to the Dublin 8. So third and four with now 544 to go in the ball game. Irish defense trying desperately to hang on here in the fourth quarter. Braves in the shotgun. And uh, the quarterback is just left. gonna keep the ball. Evans appeared to be held, no call. And he'll be down near the goal line. There is a flag on the yeah, play uh, on the far side yeah, of the field okay. at about the There appeared to be at line. least two holes on that play. Let's see if at least one of them is called. Evans was getting held out in front of the play and then downfield, I believe, there appeared to be a hold also. Evans is way signaling it may well be on Heard County. Now with 524 to go in the ball game, the Irish desperately trying to get this ball back, trailing by nine. Again, stay with us after the game for the offensive and defensive players of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. It will be a hold on Heard County, so that'll back them up. Take them back outside the Dublin 20, maybe to the 22, it looks like. They're going to spot the ball on the 22. The flag was thrown at the 12-yard line. It's a 10-yard penalty for the spot of the foul. Let's call it third and 13 for Heard County. Stan, they might keep the ball on the ground here to just keep the clock running. Let's see. I think that's what we'll see. I would be surprised if we saw anything else. In the shotgun. Hand yep. off to Beasley coming Beasley off to his right. Line. Well played by oh, Linton, and he'll Linton. take him down. Knocks him down. down. Outside the 25. Great play by Steve Linton right there. Playing off a block. About taking a four down four-yard loss on that yeah, play. But the clock keeps ticking. Yeah. We're going yeah, we're under five, five minutes in just a second. Now it brings up fourth and probably about, what, at least 15. Ball will be placed at the 24 yard line, so I think he lost two yards. Fourth and about 14 for Heard County. Stan, they're in a passing formation in the shotgun, but I can't help thinking they'll run this ball. No, they're going to throw it. Going to the corner of the end zone, and it'll be caught for a touchdown. 
And the other touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback right there. Just threw it to the back power line. A big one of Dublin's defensive backs to the corner. Touchdown, Hurd County. Now they take a commanding 18-3 lead. Going to make the score 18-3 with 429 left in this ball game. Heard County Braves will attempt the extra point. Heard will go for two here. Now there's an illegal formation, apparently. Yeah, I have an illegal formation called on them. They had 12 men on the field, Craven. Okay, 12, yeah, I knew there was, yeah, they broke the huddle with 12 men. I knew it had to be in the legal formation or 12 men on the field. Good eye stand right there. So that will back them up near the Dublin eight yard line for the, I guess they'll still attempt the two-pointer to try to make it 20 to three. And now there's timeout by Heard County. So with 429 to go in the fourth quarter, your I'm score from Shamrock Bowl, Heard County 18, Dublin three. Optum Healthcare. We know you're not yourself when even one part of yourself is hurt. Because in orthopedics, everything is connected. Bones, joints, ligaments, and cartilage. At Optum Healthcare, we're connected to an orthopedic specialist like Dr. Patrick Hansen in Dublin covers every bone in your body. Dr. Hansen will work together with you to get you back to being you. Optum Healthcare at the corner of Moore Station Road and Industrial Boulevard. Optum Healthcare, Dublin. I'm my team's number one fan. Yay, sports. Ugh. I've never been number one in anything until I put these babies on. Now, we're on a winning streak, and I have never taken them off. Do I know where I'm going? <laughs> Absolutely. We're going through the playoffs. Allstate guarantees your rates won't go up just because of an accident, starting the day you sign up. So get accident forgiveness from Allstate, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. It's good to be in good hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Still 429 left to go in this ball game. A penalty on the field brings the ball back to the eight yard line. Of course, again, and the attempted extra point is no good. They were not going to kick it. They were going for two, but um, Jacquez Evans put a great deal of pressure on the quarterback along with Steve Linton and the Dublin Fighting Irish will go back to receive with 429 left. But ladies and gentlemen, it would take a miracle for the Irish tonight. Well, Coach Holmes trying to rally his kick receiving team over there and obviously a great return would be a wonderful start for them try to mount a quick drive and try to get back in this game. Down 15, Stan, so it's still a two-score ball game. It's take two touchdowns and a two-pointer, one two-point conversion and a successful extra point to tie this game. But first things first, the Irish have got to put up points very quickly here to have any chance whatsoever. You're We're absolutely now late right. in the fourth quarter. Back deep, you've got See. I saw Greg Jones taking snaps a while ago. Number 16, Gabriel Guyton, also number 22, Zion Kemp. Back deep for Dublin. Well, let's see what happens. Kick be coming down. Zion Kemp, nope. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, number 16. Yeah. 16. 
Gabriel Guyton with a nice return up near the 30. Let's see what Markeith Mitchell can do with four minutes and 21 seconds left. Yeah, a lot of young men in a tough spot right now. Obviously, pressed, being pressed into service on a cold night, so you know he's cold coming off the sideline. Down two scores late in the fourth quarter. Asking a lot of Markel Mitchell. Let's see how he does. And off to uh, Jones around, uh, Mitchell, I should say, around the right side. Not much blocking, good push by Mitchell to get it near the 25. Just again, the story all night is the defensive front of Heard County, which has made it incredibly difficult for Dublin to run the ball. Particularly that right side yeah. Yeah. tonight. Although that ball went to the left side of their yeah. defensive yeah. line. Got a little bit of extracurriculars at the end of that play. An official timeout to restore order. May have had a personal foul at the end of that play. Let's check. Or either there. I think they're just trying to get cooler heads to prevail out there. I think he's talking to Jaquez Evans for Dublin and one of the Heard County defensive captains also. Well, that's actually the quarterback. Yeah. Right, okay. All right, now with 3.54 to go, Dublin will be second and six from their 33. Inside handoff to Cooley again, no blocking whatsoever. It'll be stacked up either at or just behind the line of scrimmage. And again, we sound like a broken record, Stan, but the story of the night is Heard County defensive front, which has made it very difficult for Dublin to get any yardage at all on the ground. You got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage. Combo coverages? I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the type of coverage that Nationwide offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV. Third down. <laughs> no, we're talking real insurance Sorry. coverages, Brad. Not third down. Camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Did I mention farm? Nationwide is on your side. Ready for some good barbecue? Come on by Southern Heritage Barbecue, 2276 Veterans Boulevard. Home cooked Southern barbecue served fast. Want a killer deal? Sandwich, chips, and drink, just $4.50. Barbecue by the pound, mouth-watering ribs, or delicious Brunswick stew. All at Southern Heritage Barbecue, 2276 Veterans Boulevard. For those special orders, Call ahead, 275-4304. And check out our new banquet room, Southern Heritage Barbecue, Dublin. They'll call, let's call it no gain. It'll be third and six, Dublin from their 33. Now with three minutes and 10 seconds only remaining in the fourth quarter. The Irish down 18 to three. There's a handoff to Greg Jones and well played by one of the defensive well players. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Heard There's County, no gain, will bring up fourth down. And Dublin is going to punt. Yeah, Dublin's going to punt, looks like. Ball at the 32, so that's kind of a concession, if you will, by Dublin, not to go for it on fourth down, down two scores this late in the fourth quarter. Jaquez Evans will be back to kick for Dublin. High snap, good job by Evans to come up with it. Good, strong wow, kick. Wow, what a punt. Yeah. And uh, Hurd was in punt safe, nobody back deep. That ball would bounce, bounce down near their own 10-yard line. Uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've enjoyed this evening with y'all tonight. Not a good night for the Dublin Fighting Irish. And it looks like the Baldwin Braves are going to be home next week. Or Heard County Braves. Excuse me. I said that three or four times. The Heard County Braves will be back in Franklin next week at home. This bracket has already won the toss for their home game. There'll be a handful for anybody they play next week, whether it be Fitzgerald or Raven County, who are two teams left on the other side of the draw in that bracket. Dublin makes it to the Elite Eight. Yeah, first time since 2011, so a lot to be proud of for this football team, even though a disappointing night here tonight in cold, wet conditions. Quarterback, quarterback keeps keeper the ball. will produce a first down. 142, 140. And we're about to end this ball game in just a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. No. Right, now you've got a timeout by Dublin right here, I think. Yeah, timeout in the Hurt will be first down now. Uh, the officials time out briefly to wind the clock, but now we're down to 121 to go. Herd's first and 10, so they'll just grind out this clock with what, maybe two more plays and get out of here with a huge quarterfinal win over Dublin. Give it to the running back, Beasley. Beasley. He yeah. takes it up, goes right out, in for a bounds, it looks game like. Of about, what, he probably got seven or eight yards out of that. Uh, he got more than that. He made the first down. Okay, he'll have a first down. Yeah, got about so 12. Got at least 10, yeah. Ball will be placed somewhere at the 31, give him a gain of 10. First and 10 for Heard County now. With 106 left in the game, Jermaine Cooley comes out a little gimpy. They're probably, certainly for the last time this year. And he's a senior, so for the last time in his Dublin career. Young man's had a tremendous career, and best of luck to him in the future, and all of the Dublin Many right, of Heard them. now gonna take a knee. And this ball game is going to belong to the Heard County Braves. It'll be our last night in the Shamrock Bowl this season, the last night for many of these young men, but many of these young men are gonna get an opportunity to play on Saturdays next right. year. They've given us a lot of great memories this year, tremendous run to the quarterfinals for Dublin for the first time since 2011. Best of luck to Heard County the rest of the way. And that's going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to 21 seconds. There won't be another play in this ball game. It is now over. Final score. You wouldn't buy a gallon of milk and immediately pour 70% of it out, would you? Then why would you do that with power for your home? 70% of electricity is lost on the way to your house, making it only 30% efficient. But natural gas is 92% efficient. Electricity is good to power your lights and electronics, but using natural gas for certain appliances is the most cost-effective, energy-efficient, and environmentally friendly mix for your home. Use it. Don't lose it. Choose the right energy mix. Choose natural gas. Life is good in Dublin. Add natural gas and make it great. Now let's go down to the field for our players of the game, brought to you by the City of Dublin Natural Gas. All right, we're here from the Rainy Shamrock Bowl after Dublin's 18-3 quarterfinal loss to Heard County. Our offensive player of the game for Dublin will be Rodriguez Martin, Dublin's quarterback. Unfortunately, he was taken off with an injury for medical attention after the end of the third quarter, except on his behalf, Dublin assistant coach Tracy White. Coach, thank you for that. Uh, tough night running the football for your offense, yeah, or was. trying to run it. Yeah, it was a tough one. Yeah. Um, 
and hopefully by the time everybody views this, we'll have gotten a good report on Rodriguez. Is there yeah. anything you can tell us about him? No, I, know. I think every I think it's a concussion. They okay. just want to be careful. Okay. Well, hope the all the best and prayers to that young man. Thank you yeah, for, thank for a you. great season. All right, we're back in the Shamrock Bowl with our defensive player of the game, Dublin defensive end Steve Linton. Steve, congratulations. A tough night on the field. You played a tough offense. Their running back was very good. You fought all night, fought hard. You made a lot of big plays. I know you had at least one lost yardage play in the fourth quarter, but a tough night for you. I know you're thinking about your teammate Rodriguez, Mark. Yes, sir. Uh, we came up short. Uh, a few errors, little mistakes, but I hope them boys get it next year. They should get it next year. It's a good defense. We ain't losing nobody. We ain't losing nobody. Right. A tremendous career for you. You're closing it out tonight. And first time since 2011, Dublin's been in the quarterfinals. I know, I know it hurts right now, but that's something you can be proud of in the future. Yes, sir. The Rehab Advantage Instant Replay brought to you by Rehab Advantage and Sports Medicine. Thanks to John Martin, Kevin Woods, and all the professionals at Rehab Advantage and Sports Medicine, including Stacey O'Neill, Wesley Covington, Olivia Martin, Jessica Smith, and Jay Thomas. When you want effective, exceptional physical therapy and outstanding results, discover Rehab Advantage and Sports Medicine. To schedule an appointment, please call our physical and occupational therapy office at 478-275-1800. Now, here's another look at the Rehab Advantage Instant Replays for this week's game. <laughs> 